Kenneth Burke's Counterstatement is a profound exploration of rhetoric, aesthetics, and literary criticism that offers an unconventional approach to understanding art and language. Central to the work is Burke's argument that literary and artistic expression should not merely be understood as vehicles for transmitting meaning but as systems of symbols that shape human experience and perception. He challenges conventional criticism by presenting a counterview, one that emphasizes the role of the audience's response to art and the power dynamics inherent in interpretation. In Counterstatement, Burke explores how literature and art function within society by delving into rhetorical forms and artistic strategies. He differentiates between the scientific use of language, which is primarily informative and practical, and the poetic use, which is more focused on evoking emotions and creating symbolic meaning. Burke's view aligns with his broader theory that art is a form of symbolic action, a concept that would later become central in his work. In this early book, he introduces the idea that art's purpose is not merely to convey a message but to serve as a means of organizing and reconfiguring human experience. A significant focus in Burke's analysis is on the form of art. For him, form is not just about the structure of a work but about how that structure induces a particular response in the audience. He discusses various types of form, including conventional and repetitive forms, and emphasizes how they evoke anticipation and satisfaction. For example, he explains that the repetition of a musical theme can generate emotional tension, which is resolved when the theme returns. In literature, the recurrence of a motif or plot device can serve a similar function. This understanding of form, for Burke, highlights the audience's role in completing the experience of the artwork, as their expectations and reactions are integral to its impact. Burke also challenges traditional notions of beauty and taste. He argues that these concepts are not universal or objective but are shaped by social, cultural, and historical contexts. He critiques the tendency to judge art based on rigid aesthetic standards, suggesting instead that art should be evaluated based on its effects and the ways it influences thought and feeling. This perspective shifts the focus of criticism from analyzing the content of a work to understanding the interaction between the work and its audience. Throughout Counterstatement, Burke is preoccupied with the relationship between the artist, the work, and society. He views art as a response to social conditions, arguing that artistic expression can both reflect and challenge prevailing ideologies. This perspective is particularly evident in his discussions of propaganda and advertising, where he examines how these forms of communication manipulate audiences by appealing to emotions and desires. Burke sees a continuity between the strategies used in propaganda and those in art, though he acknowledges that art operates with more complexity and nuance. The book is also notable for its engagement with psychoanalysis, particularly the ways in which art functions as a symbolic resolution of psychological tensions. Burke is interested in how artists channel personal anxieties into their work, transforming private conflicts into public symbols. He suggests that this process not only provides the artist with a sense of catharsis but also allows audiences to engage with their own subconscious conflicts through the medium of art. Burke's exploration of the social function of art is closely tied to his interest in communication. He argues that all forms of art, from literature to music to visual arts, are forms of communication that work on both conscious and unconscious levels. This communication is not simply about transmitting information but about engaging the emotions, shaping perceptions, and influencing behavior. Burke's emphasis on the symbolic nature of art positions it as a powerful tool for shaping human experience, one that can both reinforce and subvert social norms. In Counterstatement, Burke's revolutionary ideas lay the groundwork for his later work on dramatism and the pentad, which further elaborate on the symbolic and performative nature of human communication. The book stands as a foundational text in literary theory and rhetorical studies, offering a unique and dynamic perspective on the interaction between art, language, and society. Through his analysis of form, rhetoric, and symbolism, Burke provides readers with a framework for understanding art as an active, transformative force in human culture.